Good morning, everybody. It's Robert Allen here from Robert Allen Art Studio in Paul Grave near Orangeville, Ontario. Uh, today is Thursday, November the 9th, I believe. It's just about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is another one of my 10-minute paintings. This week's theme is landscapes. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be doing like a jungle theme. Um, you may have noticed I've got my uh, toy dinosaur. Uh, this is a, I, I love Shilek toys. And uh, I often use props when I'm doing shows and stuff, so I thought I'd have uh, just an element of that here um, to inspire me. So what I'm going to do this morning is basically a jungle theme. Uh, my colors for this morning <coughs> are, I'm working with the uh, Cadmium, uh, I guess it's a Crimson uh, cadmium Yellow. I have uh, Ultramarine Blue, a Crimson Red, uh, a Titanium White, and a Mars Black. So three primary colors uh, and uh, two uh, t values I can use for lightening them and also darkening the tones. Um, I've been mixing my greens and my colors today, and the whole point of these 10-minute paintings is basically to uh, get experience doing short paintings, uh, practicing for my uh, live event in uh, a week's time from now, um, Hope Story, and uh, hopefully you're following along. And these are not meant to be tutorials, but I often do talk about the process that I'm doing as well. So uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Let's get started. So I think I'm going to come in here, my, my, my thinking on, on this is, it's a blank sheet of paper, uh, canvas rather, it's a 140 pound uh, arches paper, cold press. What I'm thinking is, maybe I'll just, uh, I don't want to put too many pencil lines on my paper right now. So what I, I think I'll do maybe just with a pencil, uh, is just sketch, sketch on here really, really fast. What I'm thinking is basically, I'm going to have a, um, a water reflection today. So I'll do the sky, it's going to be reflecting into the water. So I'll just do that as an element. Um, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start off with my sky first. Um, I'm going to wet the bottom of my page here. I'm actually going to put some titanium white on here. So I'm just going to uh, just add some titanium white as a base coat. I know when you see Bob Ross painting online, he does wet on wet oils. And there's a lot of other great artists on there. And I love Mural Joe. Um, Ryan O'Rourke, as I mentioned, is, is one of my inspirations as well, a Toronto artist who also does 10-minute paintings much better than I do. Um, so I'm inspired by these gentlemen, and uh, you know, some of the techniques that they do, uh, you basically carry over into multiple forms. Uh, Steve Corin is another UK-based artist who does uh, watercolor. And in about half an hour, I guess, he finishes his pieces um, of mostly you know, Scottish landscapes, uh, the, the beautiful highlands and lowlands of Scotland. Um, but again, mostly landscape based. Um, and those are pieces that you know take a, a half an hour to an hour to do. These are definitely more detailed than what I'm doing here today or attempting to do here today. I got my timer set on uh, for about 15 minutes. I hope you don't need a uh, full 15, it might be 10 minutes. I do talk a little bit at the beginning here, so that's my intention. What I'm doing now is basically just putting some uh, titanium white on here as an undercoat. And then any colors I put on top of here, being acrylic paints, the, the primary yellows and blues. And in a lot of cases, red as well, are very transparent. So the, the white undercoat will basically make those colors brighter, as opposed to me mixing the white in here. It'll still keep the natural color there, but also... Um, so there we go. we got a base coat. I guess Bob Ross would call it a magic, a magic base coat. And oftentimes they use mediums to accomplish that, almost like linseed oil, if it's oil paintings. So i got a, a basic coat in here of white. I'm going to come in here now with just pure, uh, pure yellow. Yeah, my yellow is pretty thin, so I'm just going to come in here with my yellow. Just lay down a, uh, a couple of strokes here. Keep it nice and bright. I probably work a little bit thinner than most people do with acrylics, so... For me, I like to, to paint the spread, so... Spread faster. I don't like fighting the... Uh, again, I'm not using canvas, I'm using uh, watercolor paper. 140 pounds, but it is able to take a lot of uh, abuse in that sense, is archival. So I'm going to come in here with some yellows. I'm going to come in here now with some, uh, take my brush off. I'm using my uh, half-inch shader brush, my favorite brush. I'm going to come in here with just pure red. Next. And I'm going to lay, you know, water, thin it down a little bit, and I'll get the white underneath, so it'll naturally blend with that. I'm going to just come in here with some reds. And honestly, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. This is live for 10 minutes. We'll see what happens, happens. Whatever I create, I create. If it's a mess, it'll be a mess. If it's a, a thing of beauty, it's a thing of beauty. Uh, whatever happens, happens. 
And that's the danger of doing live, but it's also the, the excitement and thrill of it. That's why I'm so excited about the Hope Story, uh, a great cause. They basically uh, do education improvements, uh, life uh Lifestyle improvements for people who live in third world countries, uh, helping their families, you know, um, basically have skills, get skills, uh, better water conditions, better living conditions, education. They're doing a, a fantastic uh, job of basically improving the lives of, of children and their families. So I'm going to come in here and just going to water this down a little bit, do some blending. Again, acrylic paint is not the best paint to blend. Um, I'm going to come in here with some water and just uh, kind of thin this out a little bit. I'm going to come back here with some more yellow, just kind of strengthen that out a little bit. I don't mind streaks at this point. Um, the yellow kind of do like a wash over the red. If it turned into a, a pink at this point, I'm not that worried about it. I actually uh, do like that color. So that's what we got. So hopefully this will dry. Okay, so. We'll see what we can do now. I'm going to come in now with a, a clean brush. I'm going to mix some uh, green. This is going to be my brightest green. So I'm going to be uh, some blue and yellow. It gives me green. I'm going to add quite a bit of uh, titanium white to that. I want this to be my, my brightest color, a tone of, uh, of green. So it's pretty bright. It's almost gray, so I'm almost wanting uh, more yellow in there. Okay, so a yellowy green. I'm gonna actually um, come here in here with my big brush. I'm purposely tapping it to get the uh, the bristles uh, separated, if you will. And what I'm gonna do is just tap in some of this uh, green along along the top of these lines here. Just by tapping on, getting it just random uh, you know, brush strokes, if you will, of, uh, of elements. Um, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I did want this to be the brightest area. Now, what I'm going to do is come in here with uh, make it a darker green. I'm going to add more blue to this. I don't think I want to add too much black. I want to get a darker green, so I'm still going to add some of the uh, yellow to it. Get a darker green. I'm actually going to wipe my brush clean. Then come back here with more of a dry brush. Again, so this is a darker green. I'm just going to tap this in here. Trying to keep some of the uh, the brighter yellow that are, are greener that are there. And all I'm doing is, is tonal values from light to dark. Not worried about that part yet. Again, just random type taps. I'm going to come in one last time. A darker, darker green. I don't like using premixed green, so I really like mixing my colors. Again, this is a practice for that as well, so it's a way for me to uh, practice mixing my colors. I'll oh, show you a tap of red to that. Oh, here we go. This is darker than what we had before. Again, just tapping in some, some shapes here. No, it doesn't look like much now, but it will in a moment. I need some dark. Okay. Wash my brush off. I'm going to come back in with a uh, black. I'm going to water that down quite significantly. I kind of do a mixture of dry brush and then uh, washes. Not, not really glazes, more washes. So I'm going to come in here. I want it to be fairly thin. So I don't want too much pigment on my brush, but I do want to have enough that I can actually you know, wash in here. So what I'm trying to do is just drop water in. In the middle here. Just add some more textures, if you will. I'll dab that in. Okay. 
Uh, let's see what we can do. I'm going to come back in here now with my number four round brush. I'm going to come into my whites. Some titanium white. I'm going to just start... Uh, Actually, I think I'll come in with maybe white, maybe more, more of a black. So white, black, touch of red, give me a brownish color. That. Almost like a mud color, that's fine. I think what I'll do with this color is just give the hint of a, a shoreline. So I'm going to come in here with the black, or the, the brownish color that I've got. And just kind of establish a, you know, a kind of shoreline along here. Okay. I'm going to come back in with my big brush. I'm going to just add some uh, titanium white to it. This way I'm going to thin down a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just tap in some elements of the shore. And I'm just going to do a... It's going to have a light. I think that's too thick. I do like working thin as in thin, as I said. So I'm going to come in here with some, just some white and make it fairly thin. And just tap you know, different elements here. Give almost like a, a reflection I know this is a reflection of the sky and the water. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to come in here and just wipe it off a little bit, give more uh, white streaks, if you will. I'll come back in with some more highlights in a minute from the sky. What I am going to do is just wet one, one large stroke of water along here. Try not to carry the, the paint on the water. Um, into other parts of the painting. But I do want to have, uh, you know, this to be more uh, muted, so it's not as a direct reflection. It's a reflection, but it's not as, as strong as the other elements that are there. Okay, I think it's time to, uh, I think Bob Ross would say, take the bravery test. So what I'm going to do is come in here with some black. Pure black, Mars black. This is the uh, the bravery test. So I'm coming in with my black here. I'm going to pretend there's going to be a tree. We'll see the trees here coming out. I'm just going to do a thin. When you're doing trees and elements of trees, trunks, etc. It's always easier to go thicker than thin. So you do thin first, and then you can always make it thicker, so, so the, the bottom of the tree is thicker than the top. So I'm just going to come in here with a few branches and uh, just lay out some lines. Not shooting for any kind of a civic tree, just to have uh, branches in here. And I'm going to be this thicker now. Hope you're enjoying this. I've got about three minutes left of my timer, so let's see if we can't uh, wrap this up. Do another quick line here. Water down my paint a little bit. Got Ricky old branches. Probably should be using my liner brush, not the round brushes, but hey, 
Not bad. I only can this. Can we get some more black here? Make this trunk a little bit stronger. And I'm gonna come in here now with some uh, white, white and gray, just for tones. Give me some gray. Now I'm doing this really loosely. I don't want this to be uh, a total. Uh, just adding some gray tones to the trunks. Kind of try and get some reflection of the, of the sky on here, so it looks like it's uh, more dimensional, not a pure silhouette. And they're not. Oh, that's my uh, ten-minute mark. So that's okay. I'll go for a few seconds longer. One last element is going to be adding a little bit of the sun here in the distance. I'm going to come in with my finger and just dab that a little bit and make it a little bit muted and then we'll just do a little bit of a little bit again a, a reflection of that sun here a bit of water on my finger I still have white in my brush I think I'm just gonna do a final uh, just a couple of uh, taps here along the shoreline again Probably should be using a thinner brush, but it, it is what it is. I'm going to mute that down. One last time. Use my big brush. Put it clean. Just kind of read down those lines a little bit. So, I think that's, uh, we'll see that one's done. Um, I might just uh, do a little bit of more work here in the bottom of the black. Just make sure it's strong enough. I might just, uh, yeah, we'll do that. I'll just come in here with a little bit of lines. And just kind of do a small silhouette here, just of the ground. When I peel away the uh, the edge of the tape, it'll give it a, a stronger boundary. So I'm just kind of tapping in some rocks. Make myself some more, uh, you know, grassy areas in here. I'm actually coming here with, probably with a big brush would be better. It's funny, I keep on referring back to the uh, the big brush, even though I use the round brushes, I do prefer big brushes. And when I'm working on the canvas later this week, I'm working on the, the Jonker Farm stuff. I will be using actually, uh, you know, half inch, quarter inch, and up to four inch brushes uh, for the work that I'm doing there. And those are you know, just typical uh, household paint brushes, so... I, I do love big brushes. I love doing wall murals. It was so much fun to do. Got a couple now. I can just uh, you know, elements of black in here. So I think we'll uh, I think we'll say that's done. So it is what it is. Uh, I appreciate your time this morning and joining me. I'm just going to take a few seconds longer. Peel off the border so you get a sense for what it looks like with the uh, the border off of it. find this white border uh, does give it a quite a, uh, a better feel and it presents it better when you put it inside a frame as well if you get matted frames or even just by itself it does uh, present it better so I'll do that so that's the piece for this morning quick 10 minutes uh, Wave you're in the world. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.